morning, YouTube. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Today, we're going to show you how to make... Homemade healthy toothpaste. Yeah. Homemade healthy toothpaste, unlike the stuff you buy in the shops, isn't full of all them chemicals. It contains only four ingredients. So come with us and we'll show you how to make it. Yeah. The first ingredient, bicarbonate of soda. Now this, you can use this on its own just to brush your teeth. It's not the most nice tasting thing in the world, but it's got full of special abilities that clean your teeth and it's also teeth whitening too. Ingredient number two. This is virgin coconut oil, organic, cold pressed, 100% raw. So this is like really good coconut oil. You want to be using the organic kind because it's going in your mouth. Coconut oil is amazing. It's antibacterial, antiviral. So when you're using it on your teeth, that's what's going to get out all those little germs and make your teeth nice and fresh. It also leaves your mouth feeling really clean. Your third ingredient, xylitol. Now xylitol sounds like some crazy chemicals, but it's not. It's actually made from European birch trees and beechwood. It's a natural sweetener and it also actively promotes a healthy smile. It's really good for your teeth. Now you don't have to use this, but we're gonna use it because just using baking soda alone is pretty salty. So this helps add a nice sweet flavor and we've got children, so we need to make it quite delicious. Last ingredient, number four, we're gonna use a little bit of peppermint flavoring. So this is a nat natural extract and we're all used to having that nice minty freshness when we brush our teeth. So we wanna keep that thing that we're used to, otherwise this might be a bit too crazy for us to get on with. So we're just gonna add a little bit of flavoring to our nice toothpaste. Okay, so our homemade healthy toothpaste. The most important thing with ratios for our ingredients is you want twice as much coconut oil to buy carbon soda. So today we're gonna to use this nice little jar. I'm gonna do half the jar coconut oil, and then I'm gonna do a quarter of the jar baking soda, and then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of our xylitol and about 10 drops of our peppermint. First things first, easy peasy, we're just gonna melt down our coconut oil to help us mix in the other ingredients. So coconut oil is a bit deceiving, it actually comes as a solid if you live in colder climates. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place it over a pan of warm water. It melts down quite quickly. Be sure you're using a glass jar if you're gonna be placing it directly into your pan so we're not melting any plastic. Okay, so that took about 30 seconds to melt it all down. Lovely. And we're just going to pour this into here. So about halfway, I reckon. There we go. Lovely. So remember your ratio is twice as much coconut oil to baking soda. So for us, we're just making this little jar. So it's probably going to be about two big teaspoons. One, two. Now stir it up a little bit and mix all that healthy toothpaste together. Okay, next step is gonna be our natural sweetener. So you don't have to use this, but remember it does, it is healthy for your teeth and mouth and it's made from sustainable birch and beech wood. It's quite cool. Um, so you can use as much or as little as this as you like. If you can get into the packet. There we go. I'm gonna use one teaspoon because I found it is actually quite sweet. There we go. Da, 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 da. Ta -da. Turn my spoon up the other way. Give it a little stir up. Mm, smells amazing. Now for the final ingredient, the piece de resistance, the peppermint flavoring and scent. Smells like toothpaste, smells nice. And uh, you should normally add 10 to 15 drops if you've got a dropper, but this one didn't come with a little drop in lid. So we're just gonna do one cap. One cap, bob it in, give it a stir. And that's 
the last ingredient. So here it is, it's nearly finished. Homemade healthy toothpaste. There's just one final step and that's you've got to put it in your fridge or leave it on the side and let it set. Yes. So now you've put it in the fridge and it's cooling. It's going to set really quickly, but just loiter around the kitchen for 10 minutes because you might notice when you get it out, sometimes it starts to separate. So get it out every few minutes and give it a little shake and put it back in. That'll just help it keep all them ingredients all mixed together so it sets together. And whilst you're loitering in your kitchen, you could watch one of our videos on uh, how to make rosehip oil or how to make coffee from dandelions or rosehip syrup or rosemary willow herbs here or pumpkin jam or elderflower honey spend some time in the kitchen only about 10 minutes and there it is healthy homemade toothpaste healthy homemade toothpaste it smells amazing mm, minty and it cleans your teeth just as good as the stuff that you can buy in the shops so it leaves your mouth feeling super fresh nice clean feeling across your teeth you can scoop it. You can scoop it out the jar. Or if you're sharing this jar with lots of other people, just get a little um, like lollipop stick and then yeah. you can just pop it on your brush that way so you're not all sticking your same brush in the jar. Check it out. It's very cool. Should I have a little brush? Example brush. Ooh. So unlike your regular toothpaste, this one won't foam up because there's no chemicals in there to make that foaming action that we're used to. Yeah. It's just coconut oil, Bicarbonate soda, mm. the sweetener. It's very fresh and clean. <laughs> minty. <laughs> it's very minty. It has the hint of bacon soda to it, but we're not seeking a, an amazing taste experience. We're trying to get healthy and natural. Yeah, so it's not going to be oh. amazingly. No, it's not going to be crazy, crazy. Tasty. It's not a pudding, guys. Yeah. It's not a pudding. It's your toothpaste. It's your toothpaste. <laughs> and it's natural and it's good for your teeth. And also, if you're trying to get a lot better, more zero waste, better for your environment, then it's a very good way to step towards that too. So if you want to use it as a homeschool project, that's awesome. Teaches mm. people about your teeth. Or if you just want to make it yourself, then use our little recipe. Mm, it's yummy. very good. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, comments below if you've got any questions on how to make it or if you're stuck yep. or whatever, just let us know and we're always happy to reply. Yep. Um, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Ring that bell so you get Bing notifications bing. of when we upload our next videos. And all your likes, they really help us to know that we're doing the right thing and yeah. encourage us to make more content. Yeah. So thank you so much. Like all the famous YouTubers so smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao guys, have a great day. Peace.